Hi Coronado, I'm Tina Friend, Coronado City Manager, and this is the City Manager's Update for the week ending January 26th. We are experiencing a dramatic and damaging week. Monday's rainstorm of unpredicted and historic severity dropped a catastrophic amount of rain in a short period of time, causing flooding around Coronado and throughout the county. Coronado received 4.25 inches of rain, much of that within hours. With Coronado's land area, that equates to 576 million gallons of water, or the volume of 872 Olympic-sized swimming pools hitting our community. The heavy rain moved over our city and stalled for an extended period of time. This confluence of the tremendous volume of rain and higher tide meant that the storm drains could not effectively drain into the bay as our system is designed to do. The water had nowhere to go, but accumulate, leading to flash flooding in many areas around town. Meteorologists are stating this type of rain event cannot typically be predicted in a given location prior to the storm moving in. This was the fourth wettest January in San Diego County history, and the downpour overwhelmed many drainage systems across the region. The city prepares year-round for flooding events with a robust storm and sewer maintenance schedule and street sweeping program. We sweep our streets daily, we conduct ongoing storm drain cleanings, and routinely inspect our stormwater pumps. With this rare and powerful storm, our drainage system was overwhelmed, and on Monday evening, our city declared a state of emergency. During the storm, first responders and city crews were busy protecting lives and property. After the rain subsided, city crews began clearing debris and were out in the field assessing the severity of the destruction to homes, businesses, and the city's infrastructure. The Parker Pump Station, located at 8th and Coronado Avenue, was severely impacted by the heavy downpour, and this interrupted sewer and storm drain service to the Country Club area. The power to the plant was shut off for safety reasons when the pumps were overwhelmed with flooding. As a result, residents in the Country Club area were initially asked to stop all water use that drains to the sewer system. We understand this was a deeply inconvenient request to make of our affected residents, but it was necessary to not overwhelm the sewer system. We opened a 24-hour shelter to residents. City crews have been working diligently around the clock. Within hours of the storm abating, we started pumping out the stormwater pipe system to allow the flooded streets in the Country Club area to drain. On Tuesday, a bypass sewer pump was set up to provide sewer capacity for toilet and hand washing water use. Other crews and contractors immediately began to pump and clear the Parker pump station of flooding and once drained to inspect and identify how to make the electrical and mechanical systems in the pump station operational. Unfortunately, the flooding caused the electrical board and other components inoperable and we immediately procured replacement parts across the state, even driving some overnight down from Northern California. City and contractor crews work to restore stable power to the pump station and make repairs on the pumps. They are working to fully restore service to the area and we will continue to provide ongoing updates. I sincerely thank residents, especially those in the Country Club area, for your patience and understanding while we restore this service. This was an unprecedented and catastrophic situation. We encourage residents and businesses who experienced flooding damage during Monday's storm to report the damage through an online county survey located on our city website. This does not guarantee that you will be eligible to receive any disaster relief assistance and is not a substitute for filing a claim with your insurance. However, the information will be used by the county to apply for federal and state assistance. And like our residential and business areas, city facilities were severely impacted by the storm. Our Coronado Golf Course, the John D. Spreckel Center, and our police department buildings were damaged by flooding. The Spreckel Center will remain closed for several weeks and programming is being held at the community center and the library. Please check our recreation website for information. The police department facility was closed to the public and we anticipate it will reopen early next week. The golf course, which had several holes submerged by floodwaters, was sufficiently cleared of water to open today. Coronado residents impacted by the flooding can take advantage of a free bulky waste pickup by contacting our city waste hauler, EDCO. In addition, six dumpsters have been placed in several locations across the city. The locations and contact information are available on our city website. While we still sort through the damage wrought by this storm, we are already looking to the future storm systems. The National Weather Service is predicting more rain by the end of next week. While that prediction will evolve as we get closer in time, we encourage residents to begin preparing. Free sandbags are available at several locations across the city, and we have storm preparedness tips on our city website. 
There are several ways to stay up to date on storm recovery efforts in future storms. Check our city website, follow us on social media, or sign up for Nixle advisories on our city or police department websites. We have posted some storm recovery information on our website that includes flood damage resources for homeowners and our businesses. And thank you to the community and especially to the Country Club residents for your patience during this extraordinarily difficult week. For more information on these updates, please check out our city website.